Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. We have two guests on this episode. And um, first, a veteran Nigerian film actress and youth advocate who was served as special advisor on youth affairs to former governor of River State, Hilda Dukubo, and actor Hector Amiwero. I hope I got that right. Yes, got that right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for having me. It's on a our pleasure show. to have yes. you on the show. Please forgive me for being too starstruck, <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, I grew up watching Hilda Dukubo, no, so it's a pleasure to have you on the show, man. <laughs> Thank you. Now, before we get into Al Haji, which is why we are here, mm -hmm. um, we're talking on, let's just call it colorism, the bleaching skin and the side effects and um, the segregation, right? We'd like you to touch a bit on it before we go into Al Haji. All right, so let's put it this way. I think what we should all be advocating is for people to appreciate the um, color hue or the pigment of their skin, whatever it is. Yeah. Because somehow we all discriminate. When we see abinos, how do we react to them? Mm. What are the things we say to them? When we see people with my complexion, what do we say to them and what do we do to them? Because we're the ones who make people uncomfortable in their skin. Mm. I suffer a lot of intimidation as well from people. Um, and I'll give you examples. Somebody sees you. You're just coming out of shoot. You've been out in the sun the whole week, maybe two. And then somebody sees you and says, ah, you are so dark. Mm. What happened? Clinical, clinical. Ah, could I bring you cream? Cream to cream what? First of all is, I don't even use any oil-based lotion on my skin. Mm. And I never have. Mm. Right? So, what are you giving to me? Who mixed what? At least one thing I know for sure. Everyone who sells mixed anything buys various lotions and put them together. Mm. So, how do you know one chemical isn't clashing with the other? Mm. That's one intimidation that you suffer from your friends, from your colleagues, from people who know you, who yeah. are always... Um, worried about your complexion tanning. I mean, people pay money to look, like <laughs> to look the way I look. They mm. spend a lot of money to get tanned. And, and yet you think I'm dark because I'm not very light. Then if I was Abino, then there's another trouble again. Ah, she's Abino. I think her eyes are doing like that. Mm -hmm. you, so <laughs> so it, for me, what I advocate should be, shouldn't be dark skin or light skin. It should be whatever your skin color. Be proud of it and stick to it. Don't try to make it lighter or darker because you might hurt yourself. Right. Mm. Finish. Mm. Let's, right. let's push for that. And okay. let all of us just be comfortable. You're dark, you're dark. My siblings are dark. Mm. I chose to look like my grandmother. And then people will look at you and say, who else is white like this in your house? Mm. Do you know my parents? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so... Um, Let's push for that. that. That's me. Let's push for that. To so be comfortable in your own skin. Be comfortable mm. in your own skin. Dark, brown, chocolate, whatever. Just be comfortable there. Don't do anything. Don't put anything. Use regular moisturizers because, you know, our weather is harsh. Mm -hmm. So use moisturizers. Don't tone anything, please. Let's... Let's just leave. Yeah, that's the word is called now, Tony. Yeah. Don't, right. don't. Yes. Bleaching, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's use the right words. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about mm. acting and Al Haji. Yeah. You've been in Nollywood for a very long time. How would you describe the industry? <laughs> growing. Okay. Mm. Growing. Like growing will be the word. Um, we're not where we were. We're not where we're going. We're on a journey. It's had its ups and downs. Um, sometimes it's a lot of fun. Other times it's depressing. You don't know if you want to stay on. Um, sometimes it's very challenging. Um, you know, but we all have our individual fights. But let's look at the industry and leave all of us as individuals out of it. This industry, whether we like it or not, was re- introduced, and I'm using re because the first, what would have been Nollywood, the first Nigerian film industry actually collapsed because of government and policies and the business part of it, the difficulty of celluloids and all of that, that actually collapsed. Reintroduction was what we now call Nollywood, which right. started off as Nigerian home 
video and I'd like to underline home mm -hmm. because the target was home. Mm -hmm. Family. So the we content were, is different. Yes, home. Now home became Nollywood and we have introduced a whole lot of things to it. Some okay, some amazing, mm. and some I wish didn't okay. show up and, and that's Hilda's position. Yeah. Of course. Um, technically we have grown from using VHS Yes. Mm. To better mm. cam, to, to visit. Yeah. You know, we have grown. Yeah. Technically, we have grown. And, and with the introduction of social media and all of that, which it, with its ups and downs, mm -hmm. and um, we have also moved globally because social media is a global space. Um, in terms of storytelling, I think that we are deviating from the initial um, idea the initial of idea being home? Home. Okay. This should feed home. And um, I want to use the Indian movies as my example. Indians wanted to sell who they are, mm -hmm. their culture. So they were not concerned about how Hollywood felt about them kissing or not kissing, or how anyone felt about them singing one full mm -hmm. album in a movie. This is who we are. Mm -hmm. Mm. So we have deviated from telling our stories. And the truth is, our original stories are better than any story that we can tell. Mm. Our original story. So we need to go back to yeah. that. Okay. And then, yeah, so if, I, if, you, if we build on what you've just said and relate that to Alaji, would you say that that is attempting to, you know, stick to the old home movie content? Or is this something completely different? Every movie is classified, Right. If you, do, if you do want to do the right thing, you would classify your movie. Um, Alaji is classified for home, but not to children. accommodate children, children. because right. of the topic, right? Um, so yes, it's home because you can have any adult in the house. It, it would not be rated 18. It'll probably be rated 15 right. or 13A, which would be 13 with an adult. Mm. In, in the room mm. with them. Um, but we won't let anyone younger than that. And the reason for 13 would be, this is something that you need to understand as soon as you step into puberty. Mm. Right. You need to understand the subject matter of allergy. Okay, we need to bring Hector in. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you also watched Hilda growing up. Yes, yeah. of course. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, following what she has just said and you coming into the industry now, mm -hmm. what would you want to see done better? Okay, so basically, um, I think that's the technical part of the industry. I know that it's growing, but we're not there yet, like she has said. Um, I also think that actors should be given chances. Mm. Yes, actors, because most of the time we tend to um, give chances to find face over mm. time. Oh, gosh. All the time. All the time. All mm. the time. Mm. All the time. So, so you'd want. I would want more that. And basically, talent. I am. I am so. I, th I think. Terra culture as a team because mm. they give opportunities to talent. Right. They give to they give to people who can do the job, who can actually really deliver. Because this is stage and not even screen. Mm. So that is that is. I, basically I, I, I feel like I, we we want I want to talk about that before, before you do that. Okay. That's a big shout out to Bola Lios. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yes. Thank you. Um, <laughs> well done. As a millennial, um, we haven't really digested Nollywood um, uh, theater culture it's not in it's not in our culture to watch that uh, maybe it's the older generation but we go to cinemas more, more um, yes. and i don't know why that is because when we went when austin when Bolali came on the show it sounded like an amazing thing and it has its own art and it's it you know it's creative and beautiful so and is what wrong. is what is the what your this is your take obviously what would you say is the reason why there's that generational gap with the, the people who are consuming this content packaging Mm. <laughs> Would you agree? Yes. And, mm. you know, um, the millennials are yet to understand the theater experience. And, you know, because of how entertainment reintroduced itself through home video, they're only beginning to gradually understand theater. Mm. Now, 
in the same US that we use as our standards, there's Broadway yeah. and mm -hmm. there's Hollywood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in Nigeria, we need to set that clear. Yeah. Right? We need to let them understand that, okay, so we have chosen to call cinema Nollywood. What do we intend to call a theater? Mm. Well, I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think what we run here in Terra Culture is musical theaters. Mm. As, as we say, as we um, try to tell everybody that what we do is more musical theaters. Okay. Using okay so you tell us about Alaji. We want to know. Tell us, like, without, without giving us spoilers, because um, most of why to should it. I yeah, like, what get is, up to come yeah, see Yeah, what Alaji? is the big deal about Alaji that we haven't seen before? It's a conversation that people hold with their mouth under the table. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These conversations, people are embarrassed about holding them. And, but it's something that we all need to know. Because if it's on the male, the female can just become anything she wants, right? right? If it's on the female, the male will just disappear, okay. right? So it's a conversation that we need to hold. And, you know, the easiest way to take in something very painful is to do it like you were playing. Right. Um, and somehow this is a musical. Mm -hmm. The reason people like musical is because, you know, the way it, you, the society, art isn't isolated from the society. Art is usually uh, um, a product of, of the society. society. Yeah. This society likes noise. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's why our music is very it's noisy so and loud. loud. Yes. Our paintings are the it's same. Because that's us, all. right? Mm. So this isn't musical. This isn't even singing. We're not singing. Mm. <laughs> oh. We're talking. So right. what is this yeah. conversation yeah. based on? Sex. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. Let's okay. talk about From sex. the yes. male angle. Yeah. 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 Basically, if we dive deep into it, it's mm -hmm. erectile dysfunction. Right. Okay. Yes, erectile dysfunction of Alhaji. Aren't we and talking uh, about spoilers now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so go watch yes. Alhaji to yes. have, a have a conversation on sex. About it, yes. mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> From the male angle, right? No, from everyone's angle. Okay. From everyone's what angle. it does to the wives, mm. what it does yes, to the you know, family. It, we have much more than just... Have you ever imagined why one man would want 20 girlfriends, for instance. Mm. Mm -hmm. What is he doing with all of them? I have no idea. Uh -huh. <laughs> have you ever wondered why a lady who is very comfortable, her husband has money, blah, 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 is so uncomfortable with the man being around you. Mm. She's always praying for him to just disappear so she can disappear as well. Mm. Mm. So you're going to answer all these questions without well, that? Well, kind of. Yeah. Okay. And let's start a conversation. Yes, yeah. let's yeah. start a conversation. Mm. It's not enough for you to say, oh, that woman, she likes young, young boys. <laughs> eh. Yeah. Why is she looking for young boys? <laughs> <Right. laughs> have you asked? Mm. Mm. So, so we all need to have some kind of sexual satisfaction. Mm. Let's talk about, about it. it. Great. So what day is it showing? What time? Um, every, it's, Sunday? It's every Sunday of okay. March. So you're going to um, act it every Sunday? Yes. Wow. Two twice. shows twice. Mm. 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. Terra culture. Terra culture. Mm. Sunday. Sundays. All through the month of March. Yes. yes. Mm. Great. Okay, so, I should, no excuses, I should guys. say that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, you so much for being on Tea Time today. Thank, Thank, you. Thank, Thank you, Hector. Thank you, you so Hilda. Hey, right. H, H. Yes! Was <laughs> yes. that a coincidence? Or was it planned out? <laughs> All right. Thank you. And that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this conversation and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, our Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on R2 TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, to go to my co anchor, Ife. Oh my, and the entire production team, and of course, our guests Hilda and Hector. Thank you for being here. My name is Elsie Godwin. See you later.